Okay, well, as usual, it is great being here with you once again. Now, in the following exercise, I want you guys please to listen carefully to understand the exercise. If you guys think it's a little bit difficult for you to understand, what I want you guys to do is to try to listen the exercise and to follow the reading. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation. And at the end, you will be asked to answer two questions based on uh, the information provided here in this exercise. <clears throat> so it says, Robocop. Robocop is a football competition that has taken place every year since 1997. But the players are not human, they are robots. The competition's full name is Robot Soccer World Cup. And the aim is to create, by the middle of the 21st century, a team of robot footballers that are able to play against and beat the winners of the real World Cup. In order for robots to play football, robotics companies have had to develop special technologies. A robot can just run onto the field and start kicking the ball. So each robot is fitted with a webcam which is connected to a computer inside the robot. The robot is able to see where the other players are, where the goal is, and most importantly, where the ball is. They are programmed to make their own decisions and during the match, the robot's creators are not allowed to tell them what to do. The robots are, however, able to communicate with other members of their team via a wireless network. They might, for example, communicate a message like this to a teammate. I'm nearest the ball. I'm going to kick it. You go and defend the goal. They know who to pass to and how best to get the ball past an opening. Australian, German, and American teams dominate the competition. Top teams from 12 countries competed at the last tournament. There is a long way to go before robots will be able to compete against humans. They need to become more intelligent and become able to react more quickly and anticipate the game. But the technologies are being developed for scoring goals have other uses as well. It may be possible to develop robots that can be used in search and rescue. For example, finding people trapped in buildings after earthquakes. They may not be as fun to watch as real footballers but at least they don't demand enormous salaries. Okay, very good. So now, according to this exercise, what I want you guys to do is the following. You guys are going to answer the following questions. <clears throat> it says, in your opinion, do you think robots will be able to play against human players in real tournaments in the next 10 years? Also, can robot players become better than human players in the nearest future? According to this, uh, two questions. Uh, I want you guys, please, to answer them uh, by making a video where you guys will have to appear in the video, uh, speaking and answering them. Remember, the video has to be at least one minute long. Remember to use as many tenses as possible, grammar, grammatical structures, also vocabulary, and different components of the English language to do the best exercises possible. Remember that you guys are going to send this video to my institutional email. Okay, I hope you guys like this exercise and I see you guys in the next one.